I've never seen anything like it. The irony couldn't be richer. The hypocrisy couldn't be more outrageous. The message couldn't be more meaningful. Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. This week, the Journal News continues to hide, refusing to explain why they printed the names and addresses of legal gun owners, including yours truly. Instead, they're in a hole, hunkered down, hoping it will pass and that we'll all just go away. And get this, they've hired armed bodyguards who won't give us their names or a map to their homes. Take a look. Judge, we're here at the Journal News Building hoping someone will talk to us. Why won't you talk to us? Can you tell me why you guys released the names of the gun owners? I'm sorry, I'm on the phone. Can you speak to us for a second? Can we come in with you and speak with you? Why are you hiding from us? Oh, I'm not hiding at all. So why won't you answer the questions? I'm the security guy here. I'm just looking yep. for a card for you so they can have somebody call you. A card for me so they can have somebody call me? Yes. Sure, I'd be happy to give you a card. Um, let me ask you a question. You're a security guard here, though. So why would you be wanting to work here? Wasn't your name put out on the list of I, people I as well? No, I have no comment. I just didn't ask you for a card so they can contact you. I want you guys on the property. Who, uh, who can I ask who you are? It doesn't matter. I represent the building. Please don't leave the property. We're here at the home of the publisher of the Journal News, Janet Hassan, to see if she'll talk to us. Hi, Janet. As you can see, we had the door slammed right in our face. We're at the home of Cindy Royal, the editor of the Journal News. And as you can see behind me, there seems to be a guard in her driveway. Are you uh, protecting this home? Uh, no comment, yeah. Are you a registered gun owner? Uh, no comment. Were you on the list uh, no that, that they released? Thanks to our producer there, Nico. Anyway, this week I've been thinking about the reason publisher Janet Hassan and her journal news gang, who managed to ignite a national firestorm, gave as the reason for the creation of their interactive map of gun permit holders in Westchester. Quote, we felt sharing as much information as we could about gun ownership in our area was important in the aftermath of the Newtown shootings. Now let's parse that one out. In the aftermath of the shooting of innocent children, you, the Journal News, think it's important to what? To out us? Think about it. You think it's important to out us in the aftermath of the Newtown shootings? How dare you connect law-abiding citizens who've gone through rigorous background checks, who've been fingerprinted, investigated, and received judicial approval to exercise their Second Amendment right? How dare you compare them to a nut job on the lunatic fringe in desperate need of medication, playing violent video games for days at a time? How dare you compare him to battered women in hiding, to the families of police officers, and to judges and DAs like me? This animal massacred innocent babies. He didn't have a pistol permit. He didn't go through a rigorous background check to get a pistol permit. He took someone else's gun. And by the way, although it's none of your business, there's a reason people have guns. We don't need your sanctimonious permission. And you dare put our families in danger? You pry into our lives? You put our privacy and security and our safety in jeopardy? And then you have nothing to say? Let's follow your reasoning. If certain records are public, should we also publish the names of people receiving food stamps, getting unemployment, those on welfare, the mentally ill? Should we give people maps to their homes? There might be a good reason after all. Maybe people on unemployment are working off the books. Why don't you out the nearly 40,000 criminals as DA my office and I prosecuted every year? The thieves, the rapists, the drug dealers, those who possessed illegal guns and used them in homicides. And by the way, in my 30 years in law enforcement, I can remember only one legally registered handgun used in a murder. These are the people who've already shown that our laws are meaningless to them. And how about a pedophile? Let's map the way to their homes. 
A child is certainly in more danger of a pedophile in the neighborhood than a legally registered handgun. Why don't you just admit it was an immensely bad idea that you exercise poor judgment or no judgment at all, that it was a cheap anti-gun stunt that, by the way, is turning out to be pretty expensive for you, you champions of free speech. You're losing subscriptions, advertisers, hiring bodyguards for your home and the workplace. There's a call for a national boycott of your newspaper. How are you going to explain that one to your board of directors in May? Instead, you have the audacity to hide. You have nothing to say about your indefensible position. You have no comment. How about I say it for you? You're nothing but a bunch of cowards, unwilling to defend yourselves, frozen in fear. You screwed up, period. End of story.